So you got your meta displays, but how do you control them? Technically, you're supposed to do a scheduled demo to learn how to use them before you buy them, but that was kind of a mess. <laughs> you don't really need to do it though, because the glasses themselves pretty much walk you through how to use them. So let's go through the tutorials to learn how everything works. Now, when you first set up your meta displays, it shows you the basics on how to get started. But if you want to learn more on how to use them, you can go over to the tutorials and the display themselves. All right, so what I'm seeing through the displays, I'm going to put it up right here so you can see what I'm looking at as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's wake up these glasses first, then swipe right to the, um, the apps and all the way down to the tutorials. Let's go ahead and just start off with the basic controls. Hi, it's Meta AI. To help you get familiar with your new devices, I'm going to show you how to do a few things. Let's take a spin with your camera. Take a look around and find something you want to capture. Press the capture button once. It's near the right hinge. The LED in front blinks to show others you're using the camera. Go ahead, take a photo. Great. Now pretend you're a movie director and find something you want to film. Press and hold the capture button to start a video. To stop recording, press the capture button again. Great. Now let's learn how to control your glasses with hand gestures. Quickly tap your index finger to your thumb and release. Great. Did you feel a buzz? You'll feel it with each gesture. Your band is what you'll use to control your glasses. Let's keep going. Welcome to your home. This is where you will find your notifications so you can stay on top of your day. First, let me show you where to find your apps. Quickly swipe your thumb along the side of your index finger to the right. Great, these are your apps. Now swipe down to find the Photos app to find the latest photos and videos you've taken. To select your Photos app, tap your index finger to your thumb. Great, this is where you can see your photos and videos. Next, I'm going to show you how to go back or exit an app. Tap your middle finger to your thumb. Try it now. Great. I'll take you back home and queue up a track. Let's go to your controls. Swipe your thumb along the side of your index finger to the left. Great, this is your control center. Now let's change the volume. Hold your index finger to your thumb and turn your wrist just like you're turning a volume knob. Great, you can do this gesture anytime to adjust the volume. Next, let me show you how to sleep and wake your glasses. To sleep, quickly tap your middle finger to your thumb twice. You'll do the same gesture again to wake your glasses. Great, let's move forward. You reach the end of the tour. Come back anytime for a refresh. You can find other tutorials and helpful tips in the Meta AI app. All right, that was basic controls. Let's go over to the next one, advanced controls. Hi, it's Meta AI. Let's practice some advanced gestures to control your glasses. First, I'll show you how to zoom and pan around photos. You can zoom in while taking a photo or video and also in the Photos app. Let's use this photo to practice with. Hold your index finger and thumb together, then turn your wrist like you're turning a dial. Turn right to zoom in and left to zoom out. Great, now let's focus on panning around a photo. To pan, hold your index finger and thumb together, then move your hand around. For this example, try moving your hand up and down. Great, now let's learn how to go back. To go back, quickly tap your middle finger to your thumb. Great. Let's try one more. To switch apps or access controls, hold your middle finger to your thumb. Great. The service is called the task switcher, Let's try the same gesture to close the switcher. Hold your middle finger to your thumb. You reach the end of the tour. Come back anytime for a refresh. You can find other tutorials and helpful tips in the Meta AI app. All right, advanced controls done. Let's swipe over and now do glasses gestures. Hi, it's Meta AI. Let's practice controlling your glasses with the touchpad. The touchpad is on the right temple of your glasses. Use the tactile line to guide your finger. Tap the touchpad with one finger. Great! You can use the touchpad and the band to control your glasses. Let's keep going. Welcome to your home. This is where you will find your notifications so you can stay on top of your day. 
First, let me show you where to find your apps. Quickly swipe your finger forward on the touchpad. Great, these are your apps. Now swipe down to find the Photos app to find the latest photos and videos you've taken. To select your Photos app, tap the touchpad with one finger. Great, this is where you can see your photos and videos. Next, I'm going to show you how to go back or exit an app. Tap the touchpad with two fingers. Try it now. Great, I'll take you back home and queue up a track. Let's go to your controls. To navigate, swipe one finger back on the touchpad. Great, this is your control center. Now let's change the volume. To increase volume, swipe two fingers forward on the touchpad. To decrease, swipe backwards. Great, you can do this gesture anytime to adjust the volume. Next, let me show you how to sleep and wake your glasses. To sleep, tap the touchpad twice with two fingers. You'll do the same gesture again to wake your glasses. Great, let's move forward. You reached the end of the tour. Come back anytime for a refresh. You can find other tutorials and helpful tips in the Meta AI app. All right, glasses gestures is done. And for the final tutorial here, we have wristband gestures. So I get started. Hi, it's Meta AI. Let's learn how to control your glasses display with your hand. Quickly tap your index finger to your thumb and release. Great, did you feel a buzz? You'll feel it with each gesture. Your band is what you'll use to control your glasses. Let's keep going. Welcome to your home. This is where you will find your notifications so you can stay on top of your day. First, let me show you where to find your apps. Quickly swipe your thumb along the side of your index finger to the right. Great, these are your apps. Now swipe down to find the Photos app to find the latest photos and videos you've taken. To select your Photos app, tap your index finger to your thumb. Great, this is where you can see your photos and videos. Next, I'm going to show you how to go back or exit an app. Tap your middle finger to your thumb. Try it now. Great, I'll take you back home and queue up a track. Let's go to your controls. Swipe your thumb along the side of your index finger to the left. Great, this is your control center. Now let's change the volume. Hold your index finger to your thumb and turn your wrist just like you're turning a volume knob. Great, you can do this gesture anytime to adjust the volume. Next, let me show you how to sleep and wake your glasses. To sleep, quickly tap your middle finger to your thumb twice. You'll do the same gesture again to wake your glasses. Great, let's move forward. You reached the end of the tour. Come back anytime for a refresh. You can find other tutorials and helpful tips in the Meta AI app. And that's the last tutorial. The wristband gestures pretty much showed the same stuff they showed in the basic controls, the first tutorial. But yeah, that's everything you need to know to control your Meta Ray-Ban displays. The displays have been pretty fun to use. My only issue with it is the glasses gestures. I get that it's more advanced since you can use it to navigate through the glasses, but as someone who uses the other meta glasses, I think it would have made more sense to make the controls more universal. For example, the volume control should be a simple one finger swipe. It is on all the other meta glasses, but on the displays, it requires two fingers. I've been out swiping the sides like crazy trying to adjust the volume, just to remember that it requires two fingers. This is going to be more of an issue for people who use other meta glasses like I do. Although I wouldn't be surprised if this is just a me problem. <laughs> Anyways, let me know if you have any questions about the displays or if there's anything you'd like for me to test on them. And make sure to subscribe to watch more on the Meta Glasses and other smart glasses that I have coming in. All right, I need to stop this video before I start complaining more about the touch controls. <laughs> Gonna need to rename this channel the Rant at Ralph channel. <laughs> See ya.